From the southern bell of a city, New Orleans, Louisiana, a happy new year and welcome to the Superdome for one of the most attractive college football games of this era. The 43rd Sugar Bowl game being played inside the Dome, matching the University of Pittsburgh Panthers and the University of Georgia Bulldogs. Pittsburgh, 11-0 on the season, ranked first in the nation among the great college teams that we've seen this year. Georgia, 10-1, ranked fourth and fifth the Southeastern Conference champions, and here come the Panthers. Pittsburgh, out of the East, a team put together by Johnny Majors and his coaching staff four years ago. And kick off. It is Willie Taylor, number 29, Larry Sims, number 23. Willie Taylor is the man that Pittsburgh likes to get the ball to, and it's Alan Levitt to kick off for the Georgia Bulldogs. Georgia in red and Pittsburgh in white, and here we go. It's a kick that carries deep into the end zone, and Sims will not return it. It'll be Pittsburgh first down at the 20-yard line. The defensive unit for the Georgia Bulldogs. Eric Russell called them junkyard dogs, and they're famous for it now. Lawrence Kraft, Ronnie Swopes. They're big, they're quick. Jeff Sanders, Adel Georgia. Dickie Clark, the other defensive end from Rossville. The linebackers are Jeff Lewis, Jimmy Griffith, and Ben Zambezi. The linebackers particularly not big, but they are very quick. Elliot Walker, number 34, is in the backfield with Tony Dorsett. As they split the backs, the first offensive play of the game, and it goes obviously to Tony Dorsett. He goes for about two, maybe three yards before Ronnie Swopes and Jeff Sanders make the tackle for Georgia. Second down and seven coming up. The defensive secondary for Georgia quarterbacks, Bobby Thompson. Bill Krug is the rover. You'll see him all over the football field. Mark Mitchell, the little man, he's only about 5'8 or so, weighs about 170 pounds. Johnny Henderson, another cornerback at 6 footer, 185 pounds. Again, not too big, but very quick and hungry. It is second down and seven. The pitch goes wide for Tony Dawson. He stepped down back at the 21 yard line. What a driving tackle by number 61, Jeff Lewis. Out of the veer, both teams are veer teams, and Kavanaugh runs the draw. It goes to Bob Hutton. And Hutton comes to the 27 yard line. Georgia yelling fumble. We have no call yet from the officials. The referee is Vince Buckley, and it'll be Pittsburgh's ball. Now it is putting time for Pittsburgh. The series record between the two teams reflected there, Larry Slider, averaging just about 45 yards per putt. Hits it, it comes back to Mark Mitchell, and Mitchell squirms from one. It'll be Georgia's ball, first down at the 31-yard line. 42-yard putt, Glenn Meyer made the tackle. The Georgia offensive unit up front, Steve Davis is the split in. Steve Collier, George Collins, Joe Tarasinski, Joel Paris, Mike Wilson, and Ulysses Norris. In the backfield, it's number 10, Ray Goff. Kevin McLee, a Pennsylvania lad. At running back, Al Pollard and Gene Washington will be the flanker. Ray Goff, number 10. Out of the veer come the Bulldogs. The Southeastern Conference champions going down the line. It is Goff keeping it coming out field. And Ray gets three yards to the 34-yard line before Don Parrish brings him down. The defensive unit for the Pittsburgh Panthers. They line up this way, and it's a very good one. Ed Wilanowski, Don Parrish, Al Romano, Randy Holloway, and Cecil Johnson. The linebacker, Al Weatherington and Jimbo Kramer, left to right, and the defensive secondary is also a very good one, led by Bob Jury, who had nine interceptions this past season. It is second down and seven. Both teams getting three yards on the first offensive play of the game. Golf keeping. They tries to turn it. They've got him right at the line of scrimmage. No game as number 59, Weatherington, is there along with on third down and seven. Goff goes, wants to throw, penalty flag is down. He throws the pass, is caught. There is a penalty flag, however, back at the line of scrimmage. The pass complete up to about the 44-yard line of Georgia. To Steve Davis, number 80, coming across from split end. And the penalty will go against the Bulldogs. And it is now third down and 12. Off straight back. Good blocking. Short of his first down. He cut his hair and he did. Here's the punt by Dilts. Beautiful kick. Good one. Beauty. Fielded and down goes. The pit return man, Willie Taylor, inside the 20-yard line. The football just short of the 20-yard line. The ball is 
just hand it over to the left side of the line, and it's a good offensive surge for Tony Dorsett. Give Dorsett five. Second down and five out of the eye of the fifth throws to Tony. He gets one block. He gets two blocks. He's cut down hard by 44, Ben Zambezia, Jr. from Macon. Georgia jumping around on the defense. He's giving it to Dorsett. He's hit head on right at that 30-yard line. Really popped it again. Georgia is calling for the ball. Might be a fumble. That's the second time Georgia has been suggestive, and the officials confirm it. Ronnie Swope, number 78. I'm not sure they have confirmed it yet, Eric. No, I haven't seen an official give me a... Oh, well, looks like they're going to do it to Pittsburgh. Yep. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this, Georgia sure is doing a lot of lobbying down around what? the ball. Right on the 30-yard line. Oh, the Panthers. Uh, Double wide receivers to the left side now as Kavanaugh goes down the line, penalty flags, the pitch is outside to Dorset. He's pinned in. He's caught behind the line of scrimmage, but being the talent that he is, slips out of there and gets at least across the 30 for a yard. Bill Krug, number 42, was the man making life miserable for Tony. But it's offside against Georgia, five-yard penalty coming up against the Dogs. And Kavanaugh hands it to the up man, the fullback, Elliot Walker, 200-pounder out of Miami, and he's across the 44. Another Pittsburgh first down, and he... All right, Jimmy, double wide left again as Matt Kavanaugh sets the Panthers in white. Georgia jumps up into a six-man front pitch to Dorset, missed by one. Number 47, Griffith misses him. Dorset, they finally run him down behind the line of scrimmage, and there were five Georgia Bulldogs that had a shot at him to the 36-yard line. Kavanaugh back to throw. He's looking for Taylor. He's over the middle. He's short for the pass, and it's almost intercepted by Ben Zambezi. Just off of his finger. Three yards on third down. That Kavanaugh to throw. He gets his pass off to the sideline. The pass is complete. It is caught by Gordon Jones, who is a very dangerous man, number 24. On the nine-yard line. Isn't that what? much? Would you gamble? It's fourth down. Well, I don't think I would in a game like this. I don't know. Let's see what Johnny does. Kind of an... Kavanaugh keeps it tied. Can it be close? But I think he's got it. He took it over the right side, going in behind Tom Brazoza and George Messick. Belusi, Brazoza, Willemowski, and a couple of other the Pittsburgh oh. players have had the flu. Still has not gained the first down. From the 49-yard line, Kavanaugh up the line of scrimmage by Jeff Lewis. And that's the third hit in the game for Jeff Lewis. 32 degrees. We're inside of the dome on second down and eight. The pass over the middle. Beautiful pass to Elliot Walker coming out of the backfield. First down and goal to go for the Pitt Panthers at the 10-yard line. Johnny Taylor to the right side. Dorset split with Hutton in the backfield. The pitch is back to Tony. Tony's at the five. Nope, the six-yard line where he is cut down by Ben Zambezi. Outside the five-yard line, second down and goal to go for the Panthers. Kavanaugh keeping on the option. Turns, touchdown! John Enhauser, number 64, got Ronnie Swopes out of the way, and Kavanaugh optioned it in. Beautifully executed. You can see it from upstairs there. You can see Kavanaugh had the daylight. He took it, and there wasn't anyone close. Well executed, well blocked play. who has set a ton of NCAA kicking records in his career at Pittsburgh out of the hold of Larry Slider for the extra point. It is good. Here's Kavanaugh's run for the first touchdown of the ball game. He comes down the line on just a true option with a lead blocker rather than a fake. Well blocked, he cuts it to the inside right here. And there's no one at home. Takes it into the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. It's 7 0 Pittsburgh. High, high kick. It's going to be short. It's up high, though. Willie McClendon. Oh, he broke through that first punch and brought it out to about the 23 yard. Like that to get the big play. Washington wide left. Goff, the quarterback. Goff coming down the line. Here's the ball. Catch out. And the ball is covered by Goff. Goff hit behind the line of 
scrimmage by Ernie Weatherington, number 59, a shooting linebacker. Pittsburgh assistant coaches have to shave heads to go with their players' shaved heads. Keith and Pittsburgh about to scalp them again unless they get something going. Here's the bomb as Goff delivers it intended for Washington. It's way over his head. Out of sight. It'll be fourth down. We should have waited there a little bit. He had, <clears throat> excuse me. Gets it off. Oh, another beauty. He really hangs the ball and forces Taylor to go fair catch inside the 35-yard line. He hung it up there a little bit more than five seconds. And he hits another 47-yarder. We have four minutes and two seconds to play in the first quarter at the Superdome of the Circle Bowl and Pitt leads it 7-0. Down for the Panthers. They lead 7-0. And that Kavanaugh hits the ball to Anderson. Look out. That's why he won the Heisman Trophy. First down at the Pittsburgh 49-yard line. Down Panthers 49-yard line. Kavanaugh gives to the up man Walker. Elliot Walker, who had the big play. The pass reception on the touchdown drive. Goes down seven. Georgia 48. Kavanaugh. Dorset. Missed by one. He has that faculty for cutting it in. Now there were three red shirts over there ready to. Kavanaugh whips it. Taylor overthrows him. Matt Kavanaugh missed his man, the wide receiver, slanting in. And this is Georgia. A lot of Kojaks. Sweaters caught a rifle shot into the end zone. It'll be Georgia first down at the 20-yard line. That's a good luck. Thank you very much, Jim. Okay, Keith Jackson. Georgia first down. And Kevin McLee and Al Pollard in the setback's position. They go to the fullback for the first time. Pollard. At 4 Eastern time over most of these ABC stations. Second down, call it eight yards to go for the Bulldogs. Ray Goff has a lot of room to run. Off of the 33, the first first down of the ball game for the Bulldogs. That's in the 1976 college football season. Dome is full of 75,000 people. Ray Goff looks over, doesn't like what he sees, calls time. Turns, wants to throw it, doesn't have a chance. James Kramer, number 58 of 218 pound senior from Jeffersonboro, Pennsylvania, 32. Goff straight at it. McLeave trailing. Goff got to keep it. That's the play they fumbled a while ago. He unloaded it again to McLeave, but he really doesn't give Kevin much of a chance to do anything with it. Well, he, uh, the defense is, uh, the Pittsburgh defense is recovering so well. They're overloading this side. It's very tough to uh, run an option play against the defense that Pittsburgh is showing them. You got a flag by lines, too. Yeah, I can't tell. Uh, Personal foul. It's against yeah. Pittsburgh. It's against Georgia. Oh. That'll wipe it off. We'll do yeah. it again. Offsetting penalties. Four. Off gives it inside. And the three goes to the 39-yard line. That is short of a first down. Or the second penalty flag. So whatever. Here's Georgia punting. Bucky Dills all day to hit it. 47 yards for two kicks, and he hangs it up till it gets frosty. Fair catch by Taylor. Back at the 20-yard line again. He hung it five seconds. 41 yards on the punt. For the first quarter, seven to nothing. Matt Kavanaugh gives it to his fullback up front. Time running out. First quarter. We played one. It's been seven nothing over Georgia. Second down, eight yards to go for the Panthers. From the 23-yard line, Tony Dorsett for the ball. Good defensive play over there. I think they're going to get a holding call here against Pittsburgh because they you have offsetting penalties. It's third down from the 24-yard line. And he's seven yards as Kavanaugh sets the throw over the middle of Taylor. He takes one. He may go. One down by Johnny Henderson. Three out of five and passing for Kavanaugh, 90 yards. First down, fifth, Georgia, 37-yard line. Kavanaugh run down just about the line of scrimmage by Jeff Lewis and Jim Griffith. Walker and Dorset on the set down. <laughs> Kavanaugh throws a little short box intended for Gordon Jones and complete through it. <laughs> Dumps it off. Oh. Oh. Set up a screen for Tony, and he tried to turn too soon. A 54-yarder. Inside the dome. Close, it is short. Just short. One yard short. So, 
Georgia holds and takes over with 13.20 to go in the first half, trailing 7 0. They will be if they win this game. First down for Georgia at the 20. Greg off back to throw. Turns it up the middle. Goes to the 28 yard line, maybe the 27, where he's brought down. Randy Holloway. Down and long two, short three, whatever you want to call it. Gives the ball away, and there's the first down as Kevin McCree breaks it to the 40-yard line. And the first time in the ball game that the Georgia offensive front has opened up Pittsburgh. Mark it on the 39. First down, Georgia. This time the ball goes to Pollard. Now Pollard wiggles it up to the 43-yard line. Second down and six. Ball goes to McClee again. And he pops in there for a couple of yards. Georgia trailing 7 nothing. Just now beginning to show some offense. Goff keeps it. Gives it to McClee running to the sidelines. He shoved out of bounds up around the 46th. Close puts another one up in the air. Duke. Bucky. Oh, the screen with it. I think we got an illegal procedure call on that because uh, the, the official throws the flag only to indicate touchback to the 20 yard line where Pittsburgh will have it. 53 yard punt by Bucky Doe. Uh, he gets to do it again. It's kind of like hitting the power line with a golf shot. You get to do it again. First down, Pittsburgh. Tony Dorsey. Oh, they want him down. Goes to the up man. And again, the up man is Dorset. <laughs> Kevin on the option. Runs away from one. No, not this time. <laughs> Berg standing back on the one yard line. Fine punter. Got a little pressure, and it's a low kick. Mark Mitchell comes over. Got a penalty flag thrown. Might be a late hit. For the race of champions. 4:30 Eastern, 3:30 Central, and Pacific over most of these ABC stations. ABC's Wide World of Sports Sunday edition. Big penalty against the Panthers. Off the throw. Goes over the middle. It's intercepted by Arnie Weatherington. Same pass on that it works successfully for Pittsburgh. Running the tight end right down the middle, but uh, Greg Hoff just threw that ball a little low. Yeah, that was a great football game. Never know about him. Three and all. Whips it to the sidelines to Taylor. Willie gets away. He's slippery. He ran right away from Johnny Henderson. What is it? Get him up! Get him up! Ball is given to Carson. He's buried. Maybe short of the line of scrimmage. Kavanaugh's gone four for eight, 105 yards so far. He whips it. He's got it. He's gone. Gordon Jones, number 24. Just like the play that worked to Walker. He said Jones came from the other side. Again, showed you strength because we've seen time and again already these Pittsburgh receivers break tackle. Well, Keith, that time, uh, Kavanaugh came down the line to make it look like an option. The secondary, or I should say the linebackers, came up to support it, and then Kavanaugh delivered the ball to Jones. There was nobody there except one man to try to stop it, and both of those wide receivers were wide. Right. Okay. Now I think we can define where George is giving up something in the secondary because both place completions have been in the same area. Right. Here's Carson Long for the kick. Brilliant. Somebody got a souvenir and went through the screen. <laughs> Here's the score now. Watch the quickness and the strength. Well, watch Kevin come down the line, then throw the ball to Jones, and he just breaks the tackle and it's all over with. Goes all the way in. Again, we've got one thing about this Pittsburgh team, it's not that <laughs> Long can put him away. Got it up in the air. Very high. 
four. Hobble. Oh, ho, ho. Into the crowd. Oh, there's a play. Intensity that they're playing here today. Well, that's what's going to happen. They hit him, I think, when he was out of bounds. Let's see here. Now. There he is. He goes on out of bounds. Yeah. Well, well, right there, yes. He's, he's, he's way off the playing field there. Right. In for the Georgia Bulldogs, number 17. He's generally the passing quarterback. Oh. Hands for Kevin McRae. And Pittsburgh realizing, and I'm sure instinctively remembering, that Robinson is the passer. Left him a little gap there. And the Better part of five yards to go. McLee again, and he muscles to about the 47 before Randy Holloway. Got a first down as McLee goes to the 44-yard line. You need a touchdown. They trail 14 nothing. 7-10 to go first down. Robinson down the line, penalty flags down. Robinson brings it up field. Hit hard inside the 35. He's be very close to a first down, but let's see about the penalty. Looks like the, uh, the umpire threw the flag, and generally you get a holding penalty when you get the umpire throwing the flag. Washington wide right, and Davis wide left. Oh, Matt Robinson throws it out short, intended for McLee, and number 68 was right over there for Pittsburgh, coming out of the defensive tackle position, Don Parrish. Robinson sets him now, and they're all tight. No wide people. Oh, Reverse it to Davis. Steve Davis, coming from his end position on a reverse, gets it down to the Pittsburgh 45-yard line. Featured performer will be Mr. Pete Duncan with his coronet. Third down, 11 yards to go to Robinson. Pass over the middle, and it's intercepted by James Kramer. Jimbo gets it. That's the second interception by a Panther linebacker. Boy, that was a great interception. So with 5.59 to go in the first half, Pitt gets it back, first down at the 33. And the Panthers have it first down at the 33-yard line, leading 14 to nothing. Kavanaugh's pass. Complete this to tight end, Jim Corbett, the senior from Erie. Makes a leaping catch. It's called 6 out of 10 for 175 yards here in the first half. It goes to Walker, the fullback number 34, and he gets it out to the 48-yard line before the Bulldogs can flat him. Inside the dome in New Orleans. It goes to Walker again, and he's across midfield to the Georgia 48-yard line. He's about a yard shy of the first down. And the classic. John is headed for Knoxville and Tennessee. It's Walker again over the left side. On third down and a yard and a half, he gets the first down as he cracks the Georgia 45 to near the 44. That's a lot of offense. Cavanaugh to Dorsett. Oh, look at that move. Wow. Oh, boy. All the way to the 22-yard line. First down for Pittsburgh and a great run by Tony. Touchdown deficit in the uh, Florida game, but three touchdowns is going to be off the top. Tony now with 56 yards on 15 carries. Cavanaugh down the line. He is caught from behind. That's a heck of a defensive play by Ronnie Swopes coming out of the interior line. Sure, so two, second down, 12, just inside the 25 of Georgia. Kavanaugh pitches to Dorsett. Penalty flags down as Tony gets out there, jukes a couple of times and loses two yards. There's just no way he was going to get away that time. Gordon Jones wide right. Willie Taylor wide left. Kavanaugh's pass intended for Taylor. He's got it down. 14 yard line, maybe the 13. He's wrestled down by Johnny Henderson. Just short of the first down, I believe. <laughs> Got it. Walker. Cavanaugh's had a super first half. That delivers it to two. Oh, look. look out, he's got the corner. Touchdown, Dorset. Bob Hutton threw a big block 
Or was it Walker? Elliot Walker, Walker. through the big block. He gave him around. Oh, he accelerated when he got that ball. Carson Long for the extra point. At 2.02 to go in the first half. He drilled it. And the Pittsburgh Panthers, who want to be number one, lead the Georgia Bulldogs by a score of 21 to nothing. And Carson Long now approaching to kick off. With 2.02 to go, he puts it way up in the air to Gene Washington at about the six. Penalty flag as Washington comes to the 28. Georgia quarterbacks have been intercepted twice so far in the game, both times by Pittsburgh linebackers. Robinson back to throw. He throws, and Washington had cut on the pattern back inside, and there was nobody near the football. Robinson will put it up again, throw short, incomplete. Pass intended for Al Pollard, the fullback coming out of the backfield. Try to remember all the fun of last night. Third down and ten. Robinson getting some heat. Passes away, the pass is complete to Steve Davis on a rolling, tumbling catch upfield at the 47-yard line. Don and it's first down for Georgia at the 47-yard line. Matt Robinson gets his pass off. That is incomplete. And Georgia folks are screaming for interference as he was cut down by Bob Jury, number 31. Second down, 10. Robinson's pass blocked. Blocked by Don Parrish, number 68. Well, you got to give that passing game the real credit. Third down, 10. Robinson's pass. Oh. All the way to the sidelines intended for Washington. There's Lee Majors, a $6 million man on the pit sideline wearing a pit hat. Well, he's got a $6 million team right now with a lead of 21 to nothing. Uh, Pittsburgh has no one deep. And Georgia kicks it. Bucky hangs it up. He's got a good hold. That's a great kick. There's a penalty flag on the field. The ball dribbles out of bounds at the four-yard line. The penalty goes against Pittsburgh, giving Georgia first down. At the pit 39, pass to Gene Washington. Thrown by Robinson is really at the pit 39, second down 10. Robinson goes deep for Washington. It's intercepted. It is Bob Jury and Leroy Felder there together. I think Jury is the man that got the ball. If so, it's outside the 10 yard line. And they'll just run the clock out now as they get it in motion. Georgia with two timeouts. They choose here to spend them. Ball right. oh, will probably take the snap and just sit down with it. <laughs> Whistle stops it now. Looks like Georgia may spend the timeout. They have two timeouts remaining. And they do call time. Everyone. And the ball off this time to Elliott Walker, and now Georgia spins the timeout, and they will force Pittsburgh to kick it away with 11 seconds to go. As Swider is in the end zone, Larry will come out of the end zone. Gets it away. Mitchell. Pittsburgh 41 with one tick on the clock remaining. 42 yard punt and a seven yard return. I think that's what we'll see here, Keith. Davis and Washington both wide right. Robinson straight back. For Washington. Intercepted in the end zone by Jury. There's number 10 for Bob for 1976. The 76 season. And the first half is over with Pittsburgh leading 21 to nothing. And here's Jim. Not a bad one. Well, I'm never happy till the game's over and we win, Jim. Uh, yes, our football teams play very aggressive football, and both teams are playing with a lot of emotion. I'm very pleased. Our passion game, I think, really helped us open up the game, plus our defense is doing a great job. I wonder if it's occurred to you this is the last time you go into the locker room with these guys. It has, but I tell you what, I haven't tried to dwell on it because this football team has more to work for than John Majors. They're a great group of young men, and we've got another half to play. Okay, thanks very much for spending time with us, and good luck in the second half. Coach John Majors of Pittsburgh, halftime, hit 21 in Georgia nothing, and we'll be back to the Superdome right after this. Regular season. 
Second down, call it eight yards to go for Georgia from the 27. Ball again goes to Al Collard, and he's up to the 29-yard line, and that's all there is for him. Pittsburgh with a seven-man front. Goff coming down on the auction, tries to turn it inside, and he's got no place to go as Romano came out of the line position, came across to make the tackle. Along the line of scrimmage and get Goff. Looked like Goff might be able to pick up a first down and make the tackle for no gain. Bucky Dills averaging 47 yards on four punts. Hits another towering shot, the fair catch goal by Willie Taylor. On the ball, five seconds again. The ball is back at the Pittsburgh 24. That's a 45-yard punt by Dills. Well, he's really booming that ball. Now here's the Panther offense for their first possession of the second half. Gordon Jones, the wide man. Hanhauser, Carroll, Pelusi, Rezoza, Messick, and Corbett. Big guys up front with Kavanaugh, Dorsett, Walker, and Taylor in the backfield. First possession of the second half for Pittsburgh leading 21 nothing. Bumbo Walker had the ball and he lost it apparently, but Georgia's begging the case. Now the official says yes. Launch back. Number 92. That's the kind of breaks Georgia's going to need to get back into this football game. Let's we'll see what they can do with it from the 26 yard line. Big opportunity for the Bulldogs. Big off. Holy Black goes down as Goff goes to the Pittsburgh 19. From the nine. Kevin McLean. Not much. Second down from the nine. Here comes. Off to Washington. Can't find him. And he overthrows Pollard. Maybe. Third down from the nine. There it is. Davis pitches it out to the One more. But they call him down at the seven. Pat Robinson's hold. It is up. And from just inside the 25-yard line, it is good. With 11 minutes and 30 seconds to play in the third quarter, Georgia gets on the board. It leads it 21 to 3. Larry Sims and Willie Taylor, deep for Pittsburgh. It's Sims in the end zone. Going to come out with it from four yards. Gets to the 15, 16, and that's it for Georgia as Matt Cavanaugh hands the ball to Tony Dorset, and he's out to the 20 and close to the 21. Second down, five. Cavanaugh keeps it. Gets a first down out to the 26-27 yard line. With first down from the 26, it's Dorset. Tony gets two to the 28 before Griffith, Zambezi, and company wrestle him down from the 28. Dorset. Play is dead back at the 38-yard line, and it should be another first down. 21 to 3. Elliot Walker over the right side to about the 42-yard line. Bill Cross, second down, six. Dorset, there it is. First down, Pittsburgh. At the Georgia 43 yard line is Mark Mitchell, late the tackle. Great blocking on the right side of the line by Corbett with message for Zosa. They really cleaned it out. We've got fun for you tomorrow on ABC's Wide World of Sports at 4.30 Eastern, 3.30 Central and Pacific, uh -huh. over most of these ABC stations. Matt Cavanaugh, the quarterback. Here the good ones. Second down, short seven. Goes to Bob Hutton, 44, the fullback, one yard. Zambezi put a real stick on that time. He came. Kavanaugh's pass for Corbett, incomplete. He had a blitz on from the backside. Old Bill. 
Not much on that one. The line of scrimmage was the 38. I think that one went out just about the 37. That might be a one-yard punt. Unbelievable. He was very shy as a freshman. Keith? Larry Swider got two yards on the punt. George's ball at the 36-yard line. Goff turns it upfield. And Ray Goff runs for a first down from the 36 to about the 48-yard line, and he was really belted. 48-yard line, and Goff is gone. Matt Robinson in. Ray was shaken up on the play. And off goes to Kevin McLean, and he gets a yard. As the defensive right side of the Pittsburgh line led by Randy Holloway, and then Paris joined the crush. Robinson deck behind the line of scrimmage by Al Romano, the middle guard who fired and got through. Matt Robinson, the quarterback, Ray Goff was shaken up. Robinson to drop and throw. To the sidelines, throws a knuckle ball and is almost intercepted. Very poor pass. Ball slip. Bucket dumps to punt on fourth down. Beauty. Oh, Howard's are shot. Taylor calls oh, here. Catch falls down at the six yard line. Back. It's Walker from the 6 to about the 12. Facing Elliot Walker, 44 instead of 34. And Hutton's got the ball. And Hutton hammers it to just about the 15. That'll leave him maybe a yard and a half short of the first down. They give the ball to Tony Dorsett, trying for the first down, and he's close. No, it looks like he might. It is first down, Pittsburgh. Tony Dorsett has 100 yards on 22 carries, and he's gone again. Look out. Uh oh. Wow. Johnny Henderson brought him down at the 16 yard line. Well, that was a great saving tackle. It was a super run by Dorsett, but also a great save of the touchdown. We'll watch it on the Replay, watch Dorsett come off tackle. Two good blocks at the point there. He gets into the secondary. Now you can see the cutting ability and the speed of Tony Dorsett. He's running away from him here. And a block and a great save by Henderson from the touchdown. Tony Dorsett now 167 yards. Well, that's in keeping with it. The Sugar Bowl record, rushing record, is 199. He's tough to corral for a whole ball game. Always comes up with at least one big run in the game. First down, Georgia 16. Taking inside to the Elliott Walker, number 34, and he's play. Pitch to Dorsey. Hit by number 87, Dickie Clark, for a loss. Back around the 19 yard line. The Woods, 37, in the Georgia secondary now. As Kavanaugh drops and the screen. Dorsey. Mexico. Bill Krug makes the tackle. Two minutes to play, third quarter. Good. Just got it in. And Pittsburgh builds its lead back to 21 points. With a minute and 50 seconds to go in the third quarter. hit high and hit to the right and goes out of bounds and for the second time here in the second half Long will have to kick it from the 35 yard line as Kyburn now comes up a little bit hoping to get a little room with it it's a very high kick Jeff takes it at the seven. Uh oh they're trying to catch it here oh. well he tried to throw it back across the field to Willie McClendon and uh, Pittsburgh's coverage was good enough, and the kick was high enough that they were already down to flutter up the play, and he threw the ball out of bounds. They're down by 21 points with 1.43 to go in the third quarter. And Ray Goff back in at quarterback, coming out on an option. Oh, I tell you, you see that number 80, Ed Willimowski, hand by his way? He just kept stringing that play out. Second down, eight. Eight two yards. Goff keeps it. 
which is head down and lunges to very close to the 20 yard line. In people that are watching. Third down, and they need four. Goff's got it as he gets out to the 27 yard line. Goff. out of bounds as he gets it up to the 46 yard line first down third quarter is over we'll be back after a word about an upcoming show on abc and a message from your local station the pittsburgh panthers top ranked in the nation just 15 minutes away from locking up a national championship you go back to the days of Jock Sutherland, I guess 1937. Pittsburgh was 9-0-1 the last time the Panthers claimed the national championship. This would be the first time ever that the Pittsburgh team has gone through a season fully unblemished over a 12-game schedule. If they can control the Georgia Bulldogs the way they have for three quarters, then they will have it in hand. Here's Ray Goff on first down, pitching the ball up to Kevin McClee, and he turns it across midfield to the Pittsburgh 48-yard line. Panthers statistic, I think, in this game. Break off, hands the ball off inside. The try for the first down by the fullback, Al Pollard. He's across the 45, inside the 44. Looks like. 44, Goff to throw. Whips it to the sidelines, hits McLean. McLean steps out of bounds at the 30. Now in the double set. McLean hit hard as he gets to the 27 by Al Chesley, 55, a linebacker. Goff still got it. Has to give it to Pollard. The ball is loose. Looked like Felder knocked it down. Number 37. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Pittsburgh signaling their ball, but I haven't seen a striped shirt tell me that yet. Looked like Felder reached in with his right arm and batted the ball down as Goff was trying to deal it. And I think Felder came up with the ball, didn't he? All right. Ball is marked down after 27. 12.54 to go. Lead sideline. It's a little bit difficult to see unless you look at it from the end zone. It's Tony Dorsett across the 30 to the 31. He gets the better part of four yards before Ronnie Swopes brings him down. Kavanaugh goes to the sidelines. Pass is complete to Willie Taylor. That time, Taylor couldn't get away from the pursuit of the Bulldogs. Though. Kavanaugh gets the one and some more. 24-yard line before Billy Woods makes the tackle. Ace of champions. Tomorrow at 5 on Wide World. Keith? Dorsett's got the ball. He's closing in on 200. Kavanaugh gives to Walker. He gets a couple of yards. The Sugar Bowl running record, 199 yards, set in 1944 by Eddie Prokop, tailback, for Georgia Tech. Techers beat Tulsa 20 to 18. 26 carries now for 189 yards for Tony. Kevin on the throw. Going deep. Uh-oh. Oh, it's oh, complete. Just batted away from Willie Taylor by Billy Woods from the Georgia 32. Scrooge in the back of the Pushed off the play and passes away and thrown too high, intended for Gordon Jones. It's missed a 54 yarder, just grab it. This one from 49. Missed it. Just off to the right. And so, with 10 minutes and 21 seconds to play in the ball game, Georgia gets another chance, trailing 24 to 3. Tony Dawson with 189 yards in this ball game. Georgia has as a team 139 yards total. Right after the superstars tomorrow, don't forget American sportsmen. Shark leading in Australia and Candace Bergen learning to drive a high powered race car. Following superstars at 3.30 Eastern time. All right, here's Georgia at the 20 yard line. Oh, Gene 
Washington could not hold it. Steve Davis threw it. Ray Goff hands it to Kevin McLee. Kevin McLee, a young man from Pennsylvania who has become the second Georgia Bulldog in history to run for 1,000 yards in a season. Georgia. Pittsburgh, I think, covered the football. Let's see about the flags. Looks like Al Romano was on the bottom of the pile. An exchange fumble. I don't know what the official called, but it was, looks like he's going to give it to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's ball. Right. So here's Pittsburgh with a great opportunity just outside the Georgia 22 yard line. As Kavanaugh gives it to Dorset, and Tony is hit. After maybe a yard by Ronnie Swopes, number 78 in red. They're durable. They just run that ball, keep it. Kavanaugh pitches to Dorset. And Mark Mitchell comes across, number 24, from his safety position to knock Tony down. <laughs> Kavanaugh throws for Jones, and he drills it in there. The same pass. Well, that's a big story in this game, I think. Larry Swider's hold the kick by Carson. Yeah, good. 31 yards. Good. The Pittsburgh margin goes to 24 with 7.35 to play in the game. 27 to 3, the Panthers lead. Hey, old Tom's been very useful, too, in preparing teams because he's gifted enough that he can keep that Pittsburgh defense interested in the practice session. That's a big factor. Long kick to the goal line. Coming up at the two, it is Washington. Trying to break out of the pack, can't do it. They get him up around the 18, 19 yard line. Now, in a quarterback for Georgia. <laughs> Goes to the sidelines. The pass is complete to Jeff Pyburn. And Pyburn, out of a running back position, a freshman out of Athens, will be an outstanding group of athletes who will have some fun playing in the hula ball. Next Saturday. Pat Robinson. Throws it. Pass almost picked off by number 14. Just. Back out, Back out. And then a small prayer to get it going again. Pittsburgh arguing for the interception. I think Romano had put the heat on, and uh, James Wilson was a man who tried to uh, make the interception. The Flanagan, number 11, comes in now. With 7 10 to play in the game, and Tony Flanagan at quarterback is smothered by Randy Holloway. Boy, Randy Holloway good. sensing a kill, realizing that a uh, youngster, a sophomore out of Atlanta, was in for one play. All phases of the game today. Lucky Dills, hard rush, but gets it out of there. And it takes a Georgia bounce. Sure does. Bounces down to around the 20 yard line. That's 54 yards on the punt. 6.31 to go in the game, and it's Pittsburgh 27 to 3 over Georgia. Here's Pittsburgh now, just inside the 20, with a commanding posture in the ball game as Tony Dorsett with 190 yards picks up a couple more. Give him about 194. And Penalty flags are flying now as we get a scuffle down inside the stack. Second down and six. Kavanaugh gives up to Dawson. And he has that little skip when he gets in motion. On third down and just inches to go for the first down, the quarterback Kavanaugh keeping going for the first down. It would appear that he made it. The rocks in his pockets. <laughs> now you got me guessing. I'll tell you in a minute. Kavanaugh gives to Dorsey. Got at least a yard out of that play, so he's over 200. Give him two yards, make it 201. I'll tell you, a few times you'll see him uh, get the wrong way. He should have put, if he broke to the outside, I think he'd have gotten a lot of yardage. The fellow's name is Davey O'Brien from Texas Christian University when they beat Carnegie Tech 15 to 7 in the 1939 Sugar Bowl. Davey at uh, 17 out of 27 for 225 yards and kicks 20 yard field goal. But now Tony Dorsett has put his name in the Super Bowl record book with 201 yards and he didn't prove. <laughs> he gets another one the hard way. He really got pinched that time. Yeah. It's third down and seven. Going down the sidelines deep for Taylor. Did he get it? No. Momentarily. But almost, I'll tell you. Bobby Thompson playing him just as tough as he could possibly play. The word will get around to Michigan and Southern California as they hit it up for the Rose Bowl game later today. And Pittsburgh 
has been impressive. There is Swider. Oh, big one. They'll let it go, and they'll mark it down around the 13-yard line. That was a beauty. 54 yards by Larry Swider. Sports. That's all tomorrow. And here's Flanagan in at quarterback. Puts the pass downfield. Oh. In the hands of Leroy Felder, who's all Pittsburgh. Second down 10 from the 13. Flanagan going wide. Maybe a yard. Dow Chesley, 55, brings him down. Chesley is a sophomore. He'll be back next year. There's TD. It's third down and nine. Flanagan, having lost part of his shirt, trying to throw it. Throws it incomplete. Pass intended for Mark Hodge, 88. Wide open. They just had a lot of bad luck today on their passing game. Jones is deep. Soft spiral. That's Taylor. He's going to back up and take it. Got that one big block there. Gets it back to the Georgia 49. 45 yard punt and 11 yard return. Here's Jim. I'm on the bench with Tony Dorsett, who's had another in the long, long string of sensational games. Tony, congratulations. Thank you, Jim. I tell you, it couldn't have been a finer, finer time for me for it to have it to me and my team. You know, we were going for the number one national championship, and I don't think it could have happened on a better day. You know, people talked all week about you and your teammates carousing, being on Bourbon Street, having the late curfew. I think there must be a maturity on this team that's somewhat special. Oh, definitely. You know, we, well, we're senior orientated, and, you know, Coach Majors, is, he considers his philosophy is that a bowl is a reward for an outstanding season. So you go down, you have the main priority is to win the ball game, but you're supposed to have fun also. A lot of you have played together for four years. I'm sure it's occurred to you this is the last time you're all together. Well, you see, we're all... Hugged up right here, right now. You know, this is the last time we play together, and it's been great. You know, you know, it, it I couldn't get a better thrill out of beating a team other than George. You know, because all week the fans were staying in the hotel with us, and they've been aggravating us all week. And tonight, you know, we're here with you. Tony. Quite a Cinderella story. Four years ago, this was one of the worst football programs in the country. And now I don't think there's any doubt that you're number one. Well, we like to think that way. You know, we, we put a lot of hard work, a lot of sweat, a lot of sacrifices into this. And we come from number 100 to number one right now. And we feel right now we are the deserving number one team in the country. Did the talk of the Rose Bowl coaches get you up a little more? Well, you know, uh, not really the Rose Bowl coaches, but Woody Hayes said that we backed out of the Orange Bowl, went out to back into a national championship, which is, what was not true. Uh, Georgia's the number four rated team in the country. We figured playing them. We build, and there's a lot of deep blue for the Georgia Bulldogs. Johnny Majors now is playing everybody. Larry Sims is in the lineup, and it's like now. Tom Usick is in at quarterback. Tom Sindewall is in at fullback. Randy Rudishan is in there. Number 19 at a flanker position. Mitch Cooper is in. Joe Stone is in. George Link. John Packard. Quite much better in the second half. Keith, it's only 6-3 to three, uh, ball game in the second half. Right. That's Sims carrying for Pittsburgh. And on the first down play from 34, he gets a couple of yards. Rodershan coming wide to the right side. Music on second down and eight. He took pitches it out. Here comes Sims. And Sims, if he can pop that crack right there, he could have been gone. Well, we've got a come here. I mean, the Bulldogs play extremely well during the entire 1976 year. As Tom Music turns it upfield, goes to about the 15, and we're told that the press people have voted Matt Cavanaugh, the most valuable player of the ball game. Klein, research and spotter. Jimmy Red Sox statistician. That's music. Trying to get in. With 13, now 12, and headed for 10 seconds to play. He gets the first down, and that stops the clock with 12 seconds. And look at the Pittsburgh sideline. <laughs> oh, down there. Eight yard line. Johnny Majors already up on the shoulders of his team. Four, three, two, one. The game is over. gets a ride across the field as the Pittsburgh Panthers defeat the Georgia Bulldogs 27-3, a dominating performance. And I, for one, would certainly not quibble with anyone who says they are the National Collegiate.
the championship because they won all. And they won this Pickman convincingly. Left provided by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, travel arrangements made through, and promotional fee paid by United Airlines, by the friendly skies of United for you and the boss. This is the presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television. Pittsburgh, 27, Georgia, 3.